just for the record, yeah, man's not in the business of filming people in public to make a mockery of anyone. Don't get twisted in it. This video's for educational purposes only. Um, my man there, no one will be able to identify him. Only he will know that that's him. So he's obviously anonymous and that, innit? I just put the disclaimer out there, innit? But I'm in a tenant's house a couple doors down from him and I can hear him banging. He's breaking up these concrete slabs and that. And he's working on his knees. He's bending over, basically back breaking work. And I just think it to myself, I'm here walking around with a little tool bag, a couple screwdrivers and a test kit. And I'm able to make 300 pound a day just working as a self-employed electrician for a company. A man like that, now don't get it twisted. With that line of work there that he's actually doing, he probably is maybe working for himself. Um, that's a private job. He probably will get paid £800 a grand over two, three days to do that job. So it's a decent income in that. But if he was working for a company, my man would be doing that back-breaking work there for £150, £200 a day. Remember, it's back-breaking work, you know. Over a long period of time, bending over, working on your knees and that, you're going to mash yourself up. There's going to be a long-term knock-on effect. Whereas me personally, being an electrical tester and that, I walk around plugging in a little test kit here and there, whatever in the air, walking around with screwdrivers, walking around with things that don't weigh much. It's less strain on my body and that. In years to come, I won't have no, you know, bad knees or nothing like that doing my type of line of work and that. He's going to work every day having to do back breaking work, sweating, stinking up the place and that. Whereas I'm just cool, calm, get me plugging a little test and that, earning more than him. I don't know if there's a saying, but there's going to be a saying now, isn't it? Yeah. The more time you spend in class, the easier life will be at work and the more you'll get paid. So, for example, a man who is a bricklayer, um, he's not going to spend hardly any time in class. But his life is going to be much more difficult and he's going to get paid less. Whereas a man who's an electrical tester, he's going to spend way more time in class four or five years you know doing the the one year well maybe level one but definitely level two electrical level three electrical level three advanced apprenticeship inspection and testing best part of four or five years in the class but he's going to earn more money than the bricklayer and the work is going to be a lot easier and if i go a step further than that a man who's a doctor or a surgeon he's going to spend the best part of 10 12 years in the classroom studying but his life is going to be so much more easier than the bricklayer, than the electrician, and he's gonna get paid more. What you put in is what you get out. So if you don't put much into the classroom, okay, cool. You take it easy, innit? Yeah? You can get into work easily and that. You don't have to put in much effort in the classroom, little to no effort in the classroom. But you're gonna get paid less and you have to work harder. Whereas if you put in effort in the classroom, yay! The brain thing, you're going to have to be, get me engaged and that it's going to be long. You're going to have some hard exams that you're going to have to make sacrifice and you get me, you're going to be being able to go out on the weekends every single weekend and that, potentially. You have to give up your free time after class and that. But, you're going to earn more money. So that's what man's learnt, man. Literally. Even if I compare like the tears of it being an electrician. So you got man that's just normal electricians and that, which I was before, and you got man that's electrical testers. Even us two, normal electricians and that, let's just say on a construction site, them man, they earn £200 a day, and the electrical testers earn 250 a day. Yeah, all right, it's only a £50 difference in that. But them man, they are working harder. And remember, there's a wear and tear on your body, you know. There's a lot of electricians that become electrical testers at the age of 40, 50 years old and it's kind of like they're entering their retirement because their knees are knackered than that their knees is mash up imagine every day on your knees with a hammer lifting up floorboards drilling, inhaling brick dust and that yeah, man have to wear safety goggles because it got things flying in his face and that it's going to have a knock on effect whereas me personally as soon as I come out of um, electrical studies and that and I Became level 3 qualified, bam. I went and done my inspection and testing. Now, a lot of people asked me, oh, do you like this job? And I said, yeah, I do like this job. But for 
one of the major reasons why I'm doing the inspection and testing over being an electrician is because I don't want to mash up my knees and that. But certain man, they don't want to do the inspection and testing after they become level three qualified as an electrician. For one, they're lazy. And for two, ah, oh, it's boring. It's boring. But you're going to be bored at home when you can't work, you know, because your knees is mashed up. Man, I met a guy the other day on a job. Um, he's uh, he, He's been off, well, his back, his back is mashed up or whatever. And he got like a slip disc or something. And so I said to him, how long are you off work for? And he said, five years. And I said, what did you used to do? And he said, I thought he was going to say bricklaying or something like that. Removals. He tried to pick up a small fridge and he carried it for a few yards and, and then it mashed up his back. And You see, a man, if a man decided to be an electrician or electrical tester, he wouldn't be in a position where he's picking up heavy washing machines and that day in, day out. Because don't get it twisted, yeah? It weren't the heavy washing machine or the heavy fridge that one time that mashed up his back. Remember, it's wear and tear. Yeah, he's doing it all the time, doing removals and that. The man them that do removals and that, they can't be bothered to sit in the classroom. So therefore, okay, they have to use their hands to make money. They have to bend over backwards, they have to be on their knees and that. And it all has a knock on effect. You know, your body can only take so much. There's boxers out here. The man there's got mental, um, they got like brain damage and that. There's only so much hits you can take to your head, you know. Gerald McLennan, if you know who that is. Um, Muhammad Ali suffered from something. More. I think it was, yeah, Parkinson's disease. But it was also um, one of the, one, one great boxer called Ernie Shavers. He mashed up Muhammad Ali. Yeah, a few other boxers and that, that suffer from brain damage and that. There's only so much you can take when you're, when you're, when you're engaging in something that's putting a lot of pressure and a lot of strain on your body and that. So, man, them, get in class. Yeah, study. It's going to be worth it. Yeah, you might only make an extra £50 more than the next man who's the tier below you. You know, you're going to live a lot longer and you're going to have a much healthier body. Man, don't come from work feeling tired. Yeah, like my body's aching and that. Nah. But when I was an electrician and that, at certain times as an apprentice and that, man was coming home feeling tired, sweating. Yeah, stinking up the place and that. The car, man's working hard. Man's all removing underneath the kitchen panels and that, and running cables and that, drilling, running up and down the stairs, working in the loft. Done all that madness. Along Lordship Lane in Wood Green, there's some flats, I think it's called Ellenborough Court or something like that. And um, I remember in the summer, obviously I'm the apprentice, in it? So obviously the apprentice has to do the shit jobs, isn't it? Um, and my mentor said, yeah, you're going to have to go up in the loft and that. And let me tell you, summer, you know, we're in the loft of these flats, so it's a communal loft. I'm in the loft of this flat, and it was boiling. And you have to wear a suit as well, because if you don't go up in the loft in a suit, um, all the insulation that can cause skin irritation, and some loft insulation causes skin irritation for some people, and it don't for others. So it all depends. For me, it itches my skin and that, so I had to wear a suit, one of them white, you know them has chem, them. Um, uh, crime scene investigation suits and I'm gonna have to wear that and I was sweating this is all the nonsense that you have to do when you don't put in much effort in the classroom you're gonna be hard grafting whereas if you put in more effort in the classroom you study to become a lawyer a doctor or whatever yeah the grind is in the classroom and the grind is in the studying and that in class at home and that but you're gonna get paid a lot more and you're gonna have an easier work life easier job physically you might still obviously you're still going to be engaging your brain and that but at least you're going to get paid for it and it's not going to be a wear and tear on your body so yeah man what you put in is what you get out man in all aspects of life literally like me when I was at that infamous Holborn job that man always talk about um, everyone else was coasting along and that yeah just doing a little overtime here and there but they're doing their basic 40 hours a week and that and then what happened? Bam, COVID hit. These lots panicking, stressing and that. Me, I weren't stressed. You know why? Because I weren't doing the normal 40 hours a week. Look at all the time here and there. Man was banging it out, knocking it out. So that when COVID hit, which no one had, you know, the lockdown, no one anticipated the lockdown really. Man was cool. Man was calm. Man was just chilling. Yeah? Sitting in my yard doing four hour live streams and that. Well, there's people there. They're, they're stressing out, you know, when the next money's coming in, like, they have to apply for furlough and that. 
they have to apply for all these kind of grants and government schemes and that to tie them over and what you put in is what you get out them lot was cold so long me i was grinding literally the calm before the storm man was grinding hard so that when hard times hit man was cool man was calm yeah man literally what you put in is what you get out man anyway that's done with the video stay away it's done now all right so basically this is what man does go to the tenant's yards and that load on my tester and basically just go around to all their sockets in their yard testing their sockets walk around with a screwdriver and a notepad and pen take down my notes once i've done the test it might take me like 45 minutes to an hour for a two three bed yard i'll go home after i've done all my work for the day about four or five tests a day and then do my notes literally i'll go around test their light switches their lights and pretty much the majority of the sockets in their houses yeah easy job but like i said earlier in the video earlier what you put in is what you get out so if you want to be lazy and you want to be a bricklayer or you want to be a dustbin man yeah it's easy to get on them type of jobs there any there's well with the dustbin man there's no studying to do but with the bricklaying there's hardly any studying to do what you put in is where you get out. So if you don't do much studying in the class, yeah, you get an easier job and you get paid less. If you decide to put in the graft, i.e. studying a lot in class, like an electrician four years, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more tougher than being a bricklayer, but you're going to get paid a lot more. Likewise, a doctor, he will put in eight to ten years. And yeah, it's going to be a long journey and that, but my man will get paid 80 grand. Yeah, the sky's the limit when you're a doctor and everything is there. And again, you want a profession that you're going to be proud of. Yeah? No disrespect. No disrespect. But no one really respects anyone who's a, a bricklayer, much less a dustbin man. But people will respect people who's a qualified electrician to a certain degree, an accountant, a lawyer, a doctor, and that, because they understand, okay, this person's put in the hard graph in class to study, then they're sacrificing it instead of being lazy. So it's up to you. Man, I want to study in college for four years to be an electrician, then go and work in Asda. Literally, just go around testing all the sockets and that. 45 minutes to an hour, do five jobs a day, do the maths, 65 pound a job. And around about 300 pound a day, plus or minus 25 pound. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, cut the thing.